A couple of tools that you would like to have around your dark room are a burning tool and these dodging tools. Now they might seem kind of silly and crude at first, and in a way they sort of are. But when you really start printing in here, you're going to see how necessary they are. And as I showed you before when I was dodging, you know, they do sell these, but they're so easy to make. Just some wire, some tape, some blackout material. And you can cut different shapes and sizes. And really, depending on how small you print or how big, that's the kind of tools you're going to want to have. And they're really going to do a lot to make your print look better. Like here I have some tape that I can sort of mold into any sort of shape I want. You know, there are days where I have one tool that I've really grown attached to that I need. And if I can't find it in my dark room, I want to know where it is. Another way that you can sort of manipulate your prints is by softening the image. A lot of times I'll take pantyhose or even a little bit of Vaseline and put it on a clear piece of glass and put it under my lens as I print if I want to diffuse or soften things. These are pretty advanced techniques in printmaking, but I encourage everyone who starts in the darkroom to really play around and learn and experiment because that's how you'll get to be a great printmaker.